Destiny. is sponsored by Cushy Punch. Yeah, even, Arizona's even premier he's edibles and vapes. He's, he's, powered he's by Drip. Visit background. them all and, night and in the Encore Lounge. Does. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, out of the blue corner, fighting out of Warrior Camp oh, in Spokane, Washington, <laughs> oh, Jose Mendez! And out yeah, of the red right corner, fighting out of Proving Ground, sorry, fighting out of Power MMA in, kicks, in Gilbert, Arizona, Derek the Sheriff Now, would it be the mullet or the mustache? I think the power of the mullet is stronger than the stash, especially when it's that glorious. So I'll say it's the mullet versus the sheriff, because the sheriff also has a stash, so they yeah. cancel each other out. There we go, we figured it out. We figured it out. This lightweight ba bout is brought to you by Cushy Punch, Arizona's premier oh. edibles and vapes powered by Drip. Visit them all don't. night in the Encore Lounge. They don't take any time. They're right in there and swinging. Nice jab from Brown. Getting hit with the combination. Pulls for oh. the clinch and just gets uh, big brothered. Just big, big brothered. Is he gonna get his back taken? Is he gonna duck under that arm and get his back? Nope, he's looking for a little, a little trip there. Sagging on him. Nice. nice little broomstick. And ain't even Halloween yet. <laughs> on the back. Right to the back. Is the sheriff. Looking to lock up a choke. Is that punny? A little. A little punny. I'm surprised he reached down like that and he Yeah, he should be going two arm. on one for sure. Choke before anything yeah, he else. He needs to go two on one and bring that hand over the head. And then look to dump him. That works as well, getting that arm underneath. Yeah, you can't choke somebody's armpit yet. Well, and all this is doing is it, it's, it's banking time on the clock oh, for Derek Brown. Oh, is he going to be Brown. able to shake him off, or is he going to? Now, he could fall into something else here. Yeah, he can fall into an arm bar, but it looks, oh, he stayed oh. on the back. Oh, now he gets, he gets his back taken, and he's just raining punches. Tried oh, for little, the uh, suplex. It, it looked like a fence grab to me. What fence grab? I didn't uh, see no fence grab. No, I didn't see, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't see one either, so I, I, I can't tell you. Nice foot stomp. We need more of that. Now he's on the single, dumps the sheriff. Climbs over to half guard. Elbows, this it is, is pro. Step, trying to get that butterfly in there. Looks like he wants to elevate him, but he definitely not trying to be flat on his back here. It doesn't look like he's too comfortable in this position, so. Mendez doing a good job of, of smothering the face. I'm surprised we haven't seen elbows yet. Oh, there, and then, and there, and there, as soon as, and there ask and you shall are. receive. Ask and you shall receive. Nice elbow from the top from Mendez. Yeah, Brown just does not look comfortable on his back. He has to do something, create space. He's got now he's, a, now uh, he's mounted. Yeah, full mount, not very good. No. He's flattening him out here. And there's lots of stuff that uh, Mendez can go to here. He can go to his ground and pound. He can go to the arm triangle choke. He can go to the back. He can go to arm bar here. It doesn't really look like they're, they're very savvy in these positions. Looked like he was uh, thinking about a rear naked choke here. There he goes. It's, uh, it's, it's on, on the chin, it's, it's the, not it's underneath. On the chin, but we can dance Severin in a little bit, get that squeeze. Brown's trying to do the right thing. Fighting the hands. That's under the chin now. See yeah, if he but can, still, Brown's still yeah, two on one. Still two on one. See if he hides his hand behind his shoulder and then and then looks to squeeze. What is he doing? Yeah. A one-handed yeah. rear naked? Yeah, he uh, he basically, like I 
said he was working his, his hand to his shoulder and he's wow. holding on to his own shoulder to get the top. I that's impressive. Yeah, I was seeing, uh, that's what I was saying. I've seen one-handed hand guillotines, hand but I don't think I've seen a one-handed rear naked choke. I literally was just talking to, to my I, class I mean, you, today your jiu-jitsu was on point. <laughs> but yeah, your jiu was on if point. you have a good squeeze, it can be done. You basically are using their shoulder as your, your leverage. For your winner out of the blue corner, Jose! It's your good side. Look at that. To continue Glorious to grow. Stash and mullet, ladies and gentlemen. I yeah, mean, that, that mullet and we got and the trifecta. Because my boy, and he I, can and fight. I do feel like it fits his personality. All right, Mendez, walk me through that finishing sequence because that's something I've seen in jujitsu, but me personally, I've never seen it done in an MMA cage. So, what happened there for those that are a little confused? Uh, he took my back. I just walked into the cage, got out, ended up on top of him. And I just ended up taking his back. <laughs> I'm talking about the one-handed rear naked choke, my man. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Uh, really I couldn't finish it with one hand. I had to switch two. But I thought I was going to finish it with one. I was holding the shoulder and pulling everything I could. But yeah, this is as it's one-handed as we get here. All right, what do you want next, and how soon do you want it? As soon as it comes, whatever comes next, I don't really care. I'm just, I just want to fight. I just want to fight. I don't care when it is, who it is. I just want to compete. All right. Well, Roman, do me a favor. Get this man back here ASAP.